And those dog owners in the southern states where they experience the deadly toxic blooms have been devastated. We're here in Santee Lakes where dogs aren't allowed here, but still that doesn't stop many dog owners from being concerned about could it happen here in California, where although it is rare, it could be possible. It's definitely a very scary thing um, because when you do have effects, they're very severe. Unfortunately, the signs can be quite severe and very um, acute, so they happen very quickly. Quickly and unexpected is how the owners of three dogs describe the sudden deaths of their pets after playing in a Wilmington, North Carolina pond. Denise brought the two little dogs upstairs to get their bath next, and um, she started yelling for me that something was wrong with Abby. Dogs Abby, Izzy, and Harpo had seizures, were rushed to the vet, and all three died less than five hours later, poisoned by a microscopic bacteria in the water called blue-green algae. It is more common in areas that have a lot of standing water, um, and we're very lucky that in San Diego that's not usually an issue that we deal with. Dr. Bree Sarvis of the San Diego Humane Society says the toxic algae blooms are rare in California, but not impossible. Dog owners should look out for the harmful algae bloom in both fresh and marine water found in lakes, rivers, reservoirs, and coastal areas. Looks like foam, scum, or mats on the surface of water. Can be blue, green, brown, or red, and sometimes looks like paint floating on the water and often stinks. Come on, Pina! In recent weeks, several dogs have died from the deadly algae across the south, including this Australian dog, Fina, in Texas, and this border collie, Aria, in Georgia. You know your pets, and you know when something's not right. I just didn't think it was this not right. Toxic algae symptoms include vomiting, diarrhea, weakness, difficulty breathing, and seizures. Doctors say that small children are also at risk to ingest those deadly toxic blooms, so the best advice is to stay vigilant, and if something does not look right on the water, keep your pets and your children out.